Okay, let's start our new project for this month by creating a new folder. 150112 is today's date. The Big Bertha Rocket. Inside of this folder, we are going to save a Google SketchUp file to start us off. File, Save As, and again, navigating to our H drive where we have our folder. We can call it the same thing. We're going to start off by moving her out of the way temporarily, give us a sense of scale, and starting off with a cylinder for our rocket. We're going to use the circle tool right here at the origin, and I'm going to type in half of 1.6 feet, which is 0.8 feet. So I'm typing 0.8 and the single quote to get a single circle that is 1.6 feet in diameter. I'm going to take this and use the push-pull tool and make it go up 18 feet. These numbers have fluctuated a little bit trying to get the best shape for our rocket, but there is our 18-foot tube. We now need to get the nose cone up at the top and we need to be able to find that center very precisely. So I am going to use some guides and try and get them to go directly across this circle. You can see that it turned red, so I'm right on that axis, and I'm going to do the same thing for this side. If those don't line up precisely with these little points on the circles, you'll have a lot of trouble with this next part. I'm going to use my line tool now and I'm going to draw a line from here to the center and I'm going to go up about two feet from there. So you can see that we've got a nose cone that's about two feet taller than the rest of it. Okay, so instead of drawing a line from there to there, we're going to use the arc tool, the two-point arc. I'm going to choose that as an endpoint and that as an endpoint. Now you need to make sure that yours does not stick out past the edge of the rocket and it should be fairly rounded. So this can get a little tricky. If you look at it from another angle, you'll be able to tell when things didn't work out quite the way you wanted them to. So if you give it a nice rounded look to it there, it should fill in. If it doesn't fill in, something is wrong. I'm going to use something called the Follow Me tool. I'm going to take this face and I'm going to ask it to follow around this circle. Often doesn't work the first time. Let me try again. And now go all the way around and come back to its origin point and we've got ourselves a nose cone. Okay. Now we've got to do the fins. The fins are going to be down here and it's time to get rid of her. She doesn't need to be in the way. And I've actually got a PNG on the student share drive that we're going to use to trace it out. But first, in order to place it on this axis right here, I'm going to use a little helper rectangle. It's a small rectangle that I'm going to place very carefully on this point and then pull it out in such a way. Sometimes you have to go sideways. It doesn't have to be very big but it does need to come out along that axis so that when we place our PNG we'll have an easier time getting it to be nice and flat. I'm going to do File, Import, and Navigate to the S drive, Hicks, Big Bertha Assets folder. Now this is just something I found online that is cut out for the Super Big Bertha but it should work pretty nice for our fins here. Now because I'm looking at this face, you can see that it's doing a pretty good job of placing it right here on that plane. So I'm actually going to place it right next to it. I'm going to bring it down so that that point is right about there, and then I'm going to size it up. You should take a look at the Big Bertha rocket online to see about how big that fin should be. In fact, that is not near big enough. Let's try importing that again from a further distance. So, file import. Now, if you don't see that file there, make sure that you've changed to portable network graphic because it 
defaults to 3DS files. So this will allow us to open up that picture again. And notice I'm zoomed out, so it's a lot bigger. Let's see if it'll place it in that plane for me and make it nice and big. There we go, that's a lot better. Maybe too big, who knows. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this rectangle because it was only there to help us get this in that plane along the axis. And I'm gonna use the Move tool and move it over and down. So now I've got a guide for the fin to my rocket. Now to do this, I'm gonna make two lines and then get rid of that picture. The two lines I need are going to be right here along the bottom, and if it says on the face of the image, that's good. And then I'm gonna draw a line for this top one. Now I don't want it to be on the edge of the picture here that we imported, but I am gonna start here. Here's the trick, is you need to make sure that it touches the rocket itself on that edge of the rocket, not the edge of the picture. So I'm off of it just a little bit and that should help. Now when I delete that picture, I've got the, the edges to my fin. And I can use my pencil tool to fill in this line. Okay, still lined up. And then from this point to the other one. Let's see if it fills it in. Starting on that end point, I'm going to this end point, and if it fills in like that, you've got yourself a fin. Can be a little tricky. Now I'm going to use the push-pull tool, select this face, and pull it out one inch. That's the double quotes, and I'm just typing it on the keyboard. And so that it stays symmetrical, I'm going to go to this side and pull it out one inch as well. Okay, so now I've got my fin on my rocket. Now I need four of these, so this is how I manage to do it. I'm going to select everything that's part of this fin. A couple little lines there. This one here just seems to work better if we've got all the parts of the fin. And right click and make a group. Now that I've got the one group, I can copy this and put it on the other side. Now instead of copying and pasting, it's good to use the Move tool and hold down the Control button. Then when I slide this over with the red dotted line showing it's directly on that axis, it's all lined up. Now I have to rotate it. That's easiest done from above with the Rotate tool. Get it to be blue, meaning it's flat. Draw a line out here, nice and straight on the uh, red axis. And then spin it around the other way and it'll lock into place. Let's use our move tool to move that over to the rocket with the red dotted line. It looks as though it's not quite right, but Hmm. Seems pretty close. Try moving it over just a little bit. Hard to tell where I'm at. There we go. We can see that red line going right through the middle of it. Okay, that's important. I'm going to move it back over to the left a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to use my selection tool, shift click on the other fin, and group those two together. Use my control move to move a copy off to the side and rotate that one 90 degrees as well. So rotate tool, somewhere along in there, and rotate should snap to 90 degrees on the green axis. M for move and try and move it into position. Help if I am positioned right. Bringing it over so that the red, the green line is going through the fin. Notice I didn't quite 
move the way I want it to. So that's the green axis moved over just a little bit. So let me deselect. There's the fins. There's the rocket. And that looks like a big Bertha to me. Now I would select the whole thing. And you can group it one more time and move it up because the fins are actually below ground level. When we bring it into Blender, it'll be nice if we can start it off positioned just about right. All right, so now it's slightly up in the air. That's better than being underground. All right. And there's our rocket. We can get rid of these guidelines. Let me explode it. Take this line out and that line out. Control A, right click, and make group. And there we have our rocket for importing into Blender.